Hello students. Now from the topic halogen derivatives, we are here with the concept of optical isomerism in halogen derivatives. So optical isomer, uh, these are the one type of stereoisomers. So we are going to study here about the stereoisomers and the, some concepts related with the uh, optical isomerism. These are chirality, plane polarized light, optical activity, dextro and leorotatory, enantiomers and racemic mixture. So, uh, first we see about the stereoisomerism. Stereoisomerism, it is a form of isomerism in which molecule have same molecular formula and the sequence of bonded atom is also same. But they show the differ in the three-dimensional orientation of their atoms in space. Now, see here, uh, example is here that uh, for the 2-butene. So, cis-2-butene and trans-2-butene. These are the geometrical isomerisms of each other. A geometrical isomerism, it is a one type of stereoisomerism. In the cis isomer, that uh, similar groups are present to the one side of double bond. That structure is called as a cis structure. And in the trans structure, the two similar groups are present to the opposite side of the doubly bonded carbon atom. So that structure is called as a trans structure. That means these are the geometrical isomers of each other. And geometrical isomerism, it is a one type of stereoisomerism. So like that, optical isomerism, it is another type of stereoisomers. So optical isomers are the two compounds which contain same number and same kind of atom and also the bonds are same. That means the connectivity between the atom is same, but they show the different special arrangements of atoms and which have non-superimposable mirror image. So that is the, these are the optical isomers. Means the two important points, they show the different special arrangement of the atoms and they have non-superimposable mirror images. First we see about that non-superimposable mirror images. For that now see this is our, that uh, one uh, right hand and uh, it's the left hand. So these two are mirror images of each other. Is it clear? These two are mirror images of each other. But when we kept on each other, these two hands, when we kept on each other, what we get here? The different images. Means what we can say, these are non superimposable mirror images of each other. Is it clear? Means these two are mirror images, and when we kept on each other, they do not get match. That is called as the non superimposable mirror images. Is that one example is here? that uh, carbon is bonded with the four different groups and uh, its mirror images and these two are non-superimposable mirror images. To learn that uh, non-superimposable mirror images, that carbon, it must be an asymmetric carbon atom. That means that concept is according to that chirality. Chirality means a molecule containing asymmetric carbon atom and which has a lack of symmetry. And asymmetric carbon atom means that carbon atom which is bonded with the four different atom or group of atoms. That is called as an asymmetric carbon atom. See, you have an example here that carbon is bonded with the hydrogen, chlorine, bromine and hydroxy group. Means these are the four different groups uh, bonded with the carbon. So that carbon is called as asymmetric carbon atom. So that means with these two important points for the asymmetric carbon atom and chiral carbon atom. That is the same. Now see here the some uh, objects with, we show which are chiral in nature and which are achiral. So our left and right hand, pair of scissors, pair of shoes, these are the example for chiral. Chiral means that they are non-superimposable mirror images of each other. And the examples for the apparel object, ball, glass, spoon, chair. Now see here one example here that we are taking here one bottle and see its mirror image. And uh, that uh, when that mirror image and when we kept on each other, what we get here? Same image. Means what we say here that form is superimposable. That object is a superimposable. That mirror image is superimposable means these are a chiral objects. Okay, for the chiral objects, that example for this hand, that is the which are non-superimposable means each and every chiral object 
it shows the non superimposable mirror images <coughs> in example for the lactic acid lactic acid first point it contain asymmetric carbon atom it is bonded with the four different group like hydroxy group carboxylic group hydrogen and methyl means that carbon is asymmetric carbon atom so its mirror image okay and that mirror image when we kept on each other they do not get match means what we can say these are non super impossible mirror images of each other so that is the two conditions that chiral compound containing they shows the non super impossible mirror images and a chiral objects they shows the impossible mirror image that is they shows the super impossible mirror images in case of to learn that optical activity first we have to see about that plane polarized light in case of plane polarized light there is a light which is uh, traveling in all direction that light which is in the all plane when we pass that light in nichols prism so what will get that light that light which is oscillating in a one plane that light travels in a single direction in one direction that light is called as plane polarized light okay that light which is vibrated in the one plane that light is called as the plane polarized light and when we pass that plane polarized light through an organic solution which contain a symmetric carbon atom and then what we get that plane polarized light it rotates its direction towards the left side or towards the right side and that phenomenon is called as the optical activity first we see about that when that plane polarized light it changes its direction towards the left side that is lhs that is called as the leo rotating it is denoted by the negative sign or it is denoted by the small l that means leo rotatory which rotates the ppl towards the left side see the next one is the rhs that means the plane polarized light it rotates its direction towards the right side it is also called as dextro rotatory it is denoted by the that plus sign or that small d these are the indications to denote that dextro rotatory molecules means leo and uh, dextro rotatory so what is the optical activity when plane polarized light is passed to that organic solution which contain a symmetric carbon atom plane polarized light changes its direction towards the left side or towards the right side and that phenomenon is called as the optical activity mainly that optical activity is a very important because this gives a very important application in the different industries like uh, chemical industry pharmaceutical industry and mainly in the research field uh, now we see that uh, optical activity it is used to find out the optical isomers which are present in the reaction mixture also to find out that uh, reaction mechanism so therefore that phenomenon is very important uh, in the uh, chemistry next uh, see the some more examples for the optical active molecules like 2 uh, chlorobutane in the 2 chlorobutane uh, carbon is a symmetric carbon atom because it bonded with the four different group like hydrogen chlorine methyl group and ethyl group see its mirror image dextro form and leo form dextro form which rotates the plane of polarized towards the right side leo which rotates the ppl towards the left side and now see the these are non superimposable mirror images of each other one more example uh, that is the glucose in the glucose it is also optically active molecule and uh, in glucose see the first carbon atom it bonded with the two hydrogen and uh, one oxygen means two bond with the oxygen two with the hydrogen that means it is a not a, a, a symmetric carbon atom and last carbon number 6 that is also not a, a symmetric carbon atom but carbon number 2 3 4 and 5 these are asymmetric carbon atom because they are bonded with the four different groups and therefore glucose it contain four asymmetric carbon atom it shows the optical activity and again it shows the dextro glucose and leo glucose according to the rotation of ppl 
So these are the optically active molecules, and these uh, optically active molecules, these are the non-superimposable uh, mirror images of each other, which rotates the PPL to the same angle, but in the opposite uh, direction. So these are called as the enantiomers. Enantiomers, these are also called as optical antipodes. Means the uh, enantiomers, these are the optically active compounds, and they join leophone. They have uh, identical physical and uh, chemical properties, but they show the different uh, chemical property towards the optically active molecules. And uh, that is, these are the, about the enantiomers. Next point about the optically inactive molecules. So the molecules which do not rotate the PPL, that is a plane polarized light, these molecules are optically inactive, mainly the example H2O, ethyl alcohol, 1-chloropropane, they not contain a symmetric carbon atom, therefore they not rotate the PPL and therefore they are optically inactive. Like that again, the an uh, equimolar mixture of these enantiomers means equimolar mixture of dextroform and leophone is called as the racemic mixture and racemic mixture is optically inactive. Racemic mixture it is optically inactive because that uh, optical rotation due to the molecule of one enantiomer is cancelled by equal and opposite rotation due to the molecule of other enantiomer. They are denoted by the together that D and L or uh, we can write here that plus and negative sign together. That means what we can say these are the optically inactive molecules. Suppose you are written that uh, D L lactic acid means that, that it is a racemic mixture of lactic acid like that. And now see this, this part is for the presentation of configuration of molecules. But uh, there are the two ways to represent that uh, molecule and its configuration, arrangement of these atoms. They are shown by the two way Fischer projection formula and uh, Weish formula. First we see about that uh, Fischer projection formula. In the Fischer projection formula, now see here that carbon, which is in a plane, and the bromine and iodine, these are above the plane. And uh, Chlorine and hydrogen, these are below the plane. Okay, so they are represented like that structure, carbon, iodine and bromine, that thicker line, that is, that means they are present above the plane. And the dotted line, that means they are present below the plane, below the plane. So that is the way by the Fischer project to represent that molecule by the Fischer projection formula. Next one is by the Weish formula. We can write this structure like that, that carbon is in a plane and the bromine and chlorine, they are in a plane. Okay, and uh, that uh, hydrogen, hydrogen is above the plane and iodine is below the plane. Is it clear? That chlorine, bromine uh, and carbon are in a one plane. And uh, hydrogen above the plane, which is dotted by that thicker line and a dotted line, that means below the plane. So that is a representation of configuration of the molecule by Weish formula. So like that, uh, in that, uh, what we can learn that about the stereoisomers and uh, optical isomers. That is the one type of stereoisomers. And a very important terms related with the optical isomers like uh, chirality, PPL, optical activity, dextro and leorotatory, enantiomers, and racemic mixture. Thank you.